All right, next up, we've got another bench video. Um, I see something similar just in uh, a lack of overall setup uh, in this video. Your arch is a little bit better than in the previous video, but um, it's not really where we want it to be. So make sure that you're getting your shoulder blades together. Really pinch your shoulder blades together a lot more. Uh, drive with your legs so that you roll up onto your traps. That's going to help get you in a much tighter position, uh, especially off the bottom, and it's going to help you develop that off the chest strength. Uh, in terms of your touch, your touch is is not bad, but it could be. Um, I, I think your touch is fine. So let's just not change too much all at once. What I would really like to see you do is get your shoulder blades together and drive with your legs so that you roll up onto your traps. Keep your butt down. Uh, so it's going to require you to place your feet in a slightly different place as well. So more, more to the outside and more back toward the barbell. So um, taking those sorts of positional changes is going to be helpful for you uh, in terms of getting set up tighter. It's going to help you drive that bar off your chest better. So make those changes first. Now when it comes to other things like uh, assistance exercises and stuff like that, uh, the, the pin presses and the pause benches are going to be helpful for you. In any sort of press like this, the, the hardest position is from the bottom. You know, and I, again, I realize that your sticking point is really in the mid range, but, um, the sticking point is not the weakest point. In fact, it's relatively strong. The sticking point is where the bar slows down the most. And you start with a decent amount of speed off your chest, but I would say between uh, off the chest and this transition point. Um, I don't know if I can stop the bar, stop it there or not. Between your chest and this position, all that bar speed has to go away. So you start with a decent amount of bar speed and then the bar speed dies. Um, so to start with, I would say let's assume a, a tighter position and let's start from there. Uh, I don't want to throw too much at you all at once, but if you can, if you can do that and send in another video, uh, that would be useful. In terms of assistance exercises, the pause bench, the pin press, the stuff that's already in your program is going to be good. And in terms of supplemental stuff, wide grip benching is good. Um, you know, dumbbell benching is good. Dips are, are good depending on if they, if your shoulders will tolerate them or not. You know, so we're, we're really focusing on chest development when it comes to supplemental work. But again, any of this stuff can change because um, your technique is going to change, or at least I hope it changes.